So what's up, Osito? How you doing this morning? Woo! I'm doing great, man. I'm feeling great. I'm doing great. It's a beautiful day out today. Uh, sun is beaming. First and foremost, I want to say, you know, uh, Th thanks to the Lord above, you know, for blessing me with another day. That's another opportunity to go out and make things happen. So with that being said, guys, yes, man, we're out here on location. You know what? I do want to give a quick disclaimer, man. This is the same location that I was at last time when I received my first one star review but with that being said we're out here we're ready to uh, redeem ourselves not with that client but with a different client in the area and so you already know guys we're out here so you about got a service. This, uh, so you so just to make things right mm -hmm. you got this client from the other client correct not from that client but we were servicing that client at here the location and correct and the and this client seen us got the flyer you know and then reached out and we locked them in you see what i mean guys so stay out there in the grind and you will see others will We'll see your grain. Correct, correct. But as you can see, we're working on this beautiful Toyota RAV4. We're gonna do an interior detail on this one with a little bit of pet hair removal. Uh, main concern is that you know he said these areas do get you know covered in uh, in um, pet hair, but where it mainly stays and goes is inside these cracks inside there be between the seats, your center consoles, so all of that. So we're gonna get up in there. You know our interior detail includes steam cleaning throughout the seats and carpet so it's gonna be nice and disaffected it gets rid of some stains as well you know you got to explain that if they want to add shampooing go on and do that but it's not recommended sometimes he chose not to go with it but hey great results are coming guys so mainly these areas are the ones that are so embraided with hair that you know they call us because they want to they want the best services and now here when you go to a car wash they're not going in there they're not getting those little locations okay cool so now guys what we're gonna start doing is we're gonna start setting up you know setting up our stations as you can see there's a lot of debris right here we don't want to take none of that back into the car so i'm gonna just do a quick blow and then we're gonna get started so let's go Ah, I hate when this happens. You what gotta, am I doing wrong right here, guys? You gotta move it to the left. But sometimes you do it to the left and then it tells you to the right. There we go. <laughs> there we go. So now we're gonna so extend these remember out. Remember you explained to them why you put the clamp over that area. Yes. It's we don't want you don't, those. You don't want uh, those wires to be running everywhere to the point where it might even be here interfering with the generator and you know you gotta be safety first you gotta be careful with that man you don't want to be halfway through the job and then you smell a little bit of burning and your equipment's not working which so. that happened once to me i think i remember i left uh some prada it was like a gallon of prada right, right, of right the under the express. generator and uh next thing i know i go back luckily i went to go check real quick and next thing i know i seen the whole bottle the yeah. gallon was all melted quick tip guys for you won't be dragging your tool around just connect it and connect it later man
So what's up, Junior the Detailer? I see you got your um, tool bags right there with the chemicals. Um, how do you like to start off your interior details? Man, exactly, guys. I like to get set up just like my brother does. And uh, I normally like to start off my days just like how people like to start off the days with a coffee. I like to start off my days, my details with a vacuuming. So I start vacuuming and okay. doing the windows. And and, as, and guys, um, I have a big question. Do you guys do windows at the end or at the beginning? I like to get it done in the beginning because I know that uh, once I'm done with that, I can start doing uh, other things. But hey, that's a good question for Putting anybody. Putting things away there. or whatever, huh? I like that, I like that. So as you guys can see, we're about done setting up. We're gonna continue pushing and uh, get started in the vehicle. All right, my detailing grizzlies. As you guys can see, I'm breaking the sweat, man. This pet hair removal has been a challenge. You know, Toyota, they kind of get braided in there. But we did about, I want to say 60% of it. Uh, right now, I'm gonna start working on the panels. That way I get it, you know, once I blow them off with my vortex, I know the breeze is gonna come out, land onto the carpet, then we'll follow up with an another vacuum. But yes, guys, we're pushing, we're pushing, and we're pushing. All right, my detailing grizzlies, we are about done with the pet hair removal. But some of the tools that I really like to use when it comes to pet hair removal are these right here, guys. These are very helpful. Oh, and um. I think there's another one by Alan. I'll, I'll bring it out right now. But yes, these are some of the tools that I really love to use when it comes to pet hair removal, especially this one right here. You gotta be careful when you're up using this one on um, on the seats. I noticed on the seats, it could cause a little bit of wear and tear. But you know, this one right here is also good, but I honestly use this one a lot more. I use this one more for my lines and to get in some areas, but it, do, it does pull pretty good. And then whenever I'm having trouble in the corners or anything with that pet hair, or just in between the cracks and crevices, this is a good tool that I definitely like to use. Yes, my brother came through clutch with the other tool. This is the other tool. Oh yes, that's the Lily brush. This is another tool that we definitely use. So these three right here are very helpful when it comes to getting rid of pet hair in the vehicle. Another quick tip that sometimes we do is we ended up spraying a little bit of um, fabric softener, kind of like down or whatever. We like to get the one that doesn't have no scents or no color or anything, just, you know, all clear. And and we use that one to lay it down a little bit and help um, loosen up the debris. I guess there's like a little, a little um, electric static or something like that. So yes, those are some of our tips to give it of pet hair removal. A bonus one, if you have some type of spray wax, you can also use that. Um, I use Bean Maker today a little bit. I, I noticed that one didn't help out as much, but how, what do you guys use? Let us know in the comment section. All right, my detailing grizzlies. Sorry if the camera is a little shaky i can tell that the wind is moving it a little bit but as you guys can see we are working on the seats now once we're done working on the seats and carpet i'm gonna go back through all the surfaces just give it a light little wipe down possible if needed but then we're gonna make sure that we finish it off with the protection then we're gonna wrap it up and make our way towards this next location <laughs> As you guys can see, we are using the threesome today by Double Black Rainy Collection PNS. The three step system, by the way. When I'm working with the threesome, the three-step system, you know, I like to be um, patient, right? I, li I like to work section by section. Um, first, I will go, I'll go through with my Terminator. Then I'm gonna follow up with my carpet bomber. And once everything's all said and done, don't forget your finisher, man. my detailing grizzlies as you guys can see now i'm pulling out the carpet bomber step number two guys we're gonna lay down the solution just like we did earlier working sections by sections i find it better like this you get more better results so now we're gonna repeat the same process guys attack it with the drill once we're done attacking it with the drill right here we're gonna pull out the steamer we got that baby ready to go when she's super hot 
All right, my detailing grizzlies. Now that we took care of step number one, step number two, we're gonna follow with our steamer. Quick tip, what I like to do, especially with the metallic, for you won't get your rag all wet, is just remove the tip, hit the button. Now you got some fresh steam. Now you can connect it. And that doesn't get your, your towel all wet and stuff. And as a bonus, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay down a little bit of more carpet cleaner, carpet bomber, throughout the whole seat. Now we're just gonna follow up one more time with the steamer. Sager, almost there. We did fall a little bit behind just because of the pet hair remover. Yeah, but, huh? No, let's take it back. No worries. Thank you, sir. As, uh, right now, we're just working on your seats yeah. and then we'll move down to the bottom of your carpet as well. Take it back, okay? Thank you, sir. Yeah. How you doing? It's a pretty good day? Good, good. How about you? Oh, you know what? It's a beautiful day. I enjoy this weather today. It's really good, right? Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about just getting out there and then let's take some sun. You got to in my room for too long. Yeah. yeah. Correct, correct. It's always good to step yeah. out and stuff like that. <clears throat> and yeah, you were right. Most of the pet hair was in the bottom yeah, and the yeah. yeah. That's it. <laughs> you know, we gotta vacuum a lot, right? Okay. The seat is gone, right? Uh huh. It gets in there, I cannot vacuum it because there are no. The big tip. Inside, yes, right? yes. Yeah. We do have a. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Some of these skinny ones give us the ability yeah. to get inside there and stuff. Typically, the big one, they have the big bulky ones over That's there. Amazing. Thank you so much. Huh? Thank you so much. No, no worries. Yeah. I'm going to lay down my finisher now. Right here. In my opinion, finisher is very important. Once you lay down all of your cleaning solutions, this is gonna be what's gonna neutralize all of those products inside the material, guys. So it's always important to use it. I love to use it. I think it actually even cleans sometimes. So I recommend it. I recommend the whole package. And also it protects from uh, wicking. Yeah, and, and oh, all yup, and it definitely helps with wicking as well, guys. I think it has like some peroxide or something inside there so it definitely helps with that i'm gonna go do that seat now all right my detailing grizzlies we are done with this vehicle beautiful toyota rav4 makes me want to take a little road trip as you guys can see we make sure to get rid of all that pet hair leave it nice and clean All right, my detailing yeah, grizzlies. I know, I heard the first time. <laughs> now, but yes, guys, we are on the way to the second location. This is gonna be our maintenance client. Just gotta do a quick mini detail. So it Avenue should definitely be cool and fun. So I'll catch you guys right there. Yeah. Real quick, guys, though. Overall, this client looked super pleased with the results, but I wanna ask you guys, have you ever had to go back to a location where you had a bad experience maybe the neighbor client you know wasn't um 
wasn't you know super friendly or whatever let me know in the bo in the comment section guys if you guys ever been in a situation like this overall i like coming to this location because there's a lot of parking and then i think we might have to come back because uh when we we're right there detailing uh, wrapping it up somebody came out and um got a flyer so it's always good to have those flyers on hand guys keep them on hand all right my detailing grizzlies we are on location number two and this is just the maintenance with our maintenance client that's been supporting our detailing journey since the beginning when we first started with that being said guys sometimes when people are so loyal to you and show love to your detailing business it's always good to show love to them as well like i said this is one of our clients that we maintain bi-monthly and if not monthly you know and so um last time when we were out here about a month ago um it was at the end of our day we were about to wrap it up and so what i ended up doing is i ended up adding an extra layer on the house of our spray wax to the per to the paint right to keep it protected and to make it easier for us to maintain this vehicle you know so with that being said guys it's not a bad idea to sometimes you know throw something into the house you know throw something on for free on the house to your client you know at the end of the day it does provide value and you know um they're pleased with the results and stuff like that so they're always retain back to your business with that being said guys i think i'm gonna wrap up this video right here just because my mic's about to die so with that being said guys remember every day is a blessing and every struggle is a lesson so don't be stressing yeah